We'll watch their video. We'll listen to their perspective. We'll see what it says. Do I know the biggest privilege these guys got? Got what? They choose to stream nine hours. A hundred percent. They literally can turn oh. it off after four. <laughs> they can turn it off after five. Okay. But because they want to make more money, mm -hmm. they keep streaming. And then they want to get up here and then complain about how hard it is. Mm -hmm. You're literally choosing it. That's like you do it for money and then complaining it hurts. Today's top. I'll... I'll I would respond to that. I'm going to let them get into that in the video because this is obviously just like a preamble. And so we'll let them get into it. Our, uh, our favorite socialist is getting in trouble. Hmm. Here we go. Hamas Piker. That's a good one. That's audio, is audio bad? Okay, that's all right. Sorry. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul oh, out of you. Sorry. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Shut that shit off, please. Shut up. Come on, just keep listening. Oh, so, my God. What? So a nurse is not that doesn't have a real job? Hold, you know what? According to the sound, people took them out of context. So let's see the full video. Okay, yeah, here, here's the whole video. Okay. We'll watch the whole video. Yeah. No, 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 no. Social battery-wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here, and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, Nine hours of, of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are like, I think, mm -hmm. customer service type shit. But like, if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited way more yes. limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it yeah think about it this way like you give presentations for your job right imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight it's like after a while you'd be like i don't want to talk ever again <laughs> that's the context mm -hmm. i yeah. don't know what jobs you're you worked at mm -hmm. But it seems like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you're saying people that are... I can talk from my perspective. Um, whenever I worked at the IRS, I think that was less socially draining than streaming. I think that, like, obviously, whether a job is harder or not, it's so hard to say whether a job is harder or not. Because, like, for example, a lawyer obviously works very hard, or at least some of them do, right? But are they working physically harder than a construction worker? No, they're not. Absolutely not. So whenever you look at which job is harder to do, you have a number of different like kind of spectrums, right? You have like, is something difficult uh, physically? Is something difficult mentally? Is something difficult emotionally, right? So you have these different spectrums. And then there's also, is something difficult, like in terms of the level of like expertise or education that you need to have, which I think goes into mentally, but it can also be its own spectrum as well, depending on what the job is. I think that any reasonable person would say that obviously being a streamer is not very taxing emotion or sorry, uh, physically, it's clearly not. And I think for a lot of people, it's not very taxing uh, mentally either. I think streaming is a great job and I would rather stream than have any other job in the world. There are obviously negatives that exist with streaming, but those negatives don't outweigh the positives. Your lowest level form processor worked at the IRS. Stop talking like you worked actual full-time jobs. Well, if you work uh, for the tax season, you can work full-time because you just come in every day. Uh, they hire you and you can work overtime as much as you want. Also, if you're a low level form processor, then that's also a job. So. What you're saying is that now, now and, and I think this is a problem that like people have, they get emotionally attached to the virtue of work rather than actually talking about what really they're doing and looking at it from a more pragmatic perspective and trying to see it from the perspective of another person. I'm not interested in like your like virtue analysis of whether one job is better than another job. But what I'm saying is that 
there are some jobs that are more and less mentally taxing or emotionally taxing. Like, for example, I bet being a police officer is more emotionally taxing than being a streamer. As I've said, I think being a police officer or a nurse, for example, imagine being like an EMS person. I think that's harder than being a streamer in like every single context, other than maybe you don't get swatted, right? Uh, there may be a few other things. So, of course, there are jobs that don't fit inside of that spectrum and that are harder on all different spectrums. But being a nurse and being an EMS worker, being a cop isn't the only job. Yeah, you're the ones doing the swatting. Yeah, yeah, you're the ones showing up. Okay, so let, let's let's continue. But I just wanted to make sure that like that that's that's my perspective going into this. The big difference is the monetary difference between other jobs and being a streamer. Being paid a lot of money doesn't make problems go away. Being paid a lot of money makes it easier to deal with problems. There's actually studies that have been done on this, and I, I can show you the graph. I, I'll do it now because I think people are going to disagree because uh, for a lot of people, and this is really the reality here, is that uh, I'm preaching to a very tough audience, uh, arguing my point of view, because for the majority of people that are watching me and disagreeing and getting angry, the biggest problem in their life is money. So for them, the idea that you can't like that money isn't the problem. Well, this is going to very much upset them because they look at it from the perspective of like, well, if I had money, then this would totally solve all my problems. And I think if you work at a many jobs, that's absolutely true. And I want to show that with a graph. So let me go ahead and do that. These are some graphs right here that I can show. And these are studies that have been done uh, over the years with a number of different people. And basically what you see happening is that uh, especially whenever you're reaching, you know, again, into this like leading up to like $200,000 a year, uh, more money will absolutely make you more happy. Absolutely, it will. 100%. But that does not necessarily mean that more money infinitely will just make you more and more happy. And that's the perspective that I'm making. That's the point that I'm making. But if you're making, let's say, $40,000 $40, a year, I want to make it very clear. Money will buy happiness. If you make more money, assuming that you're living in a first world country, right? And, you know, some people, I think 40000 is a lot of money. But uh, this graph, I think, proves my perspective on things. That obviously, yes, making more money matters, but it does fall off. It has a diminishing return. And this is uh, reflected in many different graphs. Mean happiness for income bans. Uh, there's one right there. It actually goes down. Uh, I, I mean, that's again, I think that's a this is a personal problem here. But you can see very clearly, especially leading up to $100,000. Uh, yeah, there's a soft cap, right? And so this does happen. You're conflating happiness with problems. Yes, I think that people with less problems are generally more happy. And I think the ability to deal with your problems will lead you to becoming more happy. Uh, I do think that's true. Yes. Um, and I do think that in general, like we're talking about mean happiness. And so, yeah, I would say so. So you agree. I, I agree to an extent. Like, I, I don't know about this. Like, this is kind of a weird topic and I could get into it. But I, I don't know if there are more or less problems that money can solve. But I don't think it really matters. I think that a lot of people's problems are internal. But in general, especially if you're like poor, I do think that money will solve your problems but money will probably not solve all of your problems. And I think in the same concept, it's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? The pyramid. I think that once people have some problems that become solved, then they will then create new problems that then they will get upset about and then want those problems to be solved as well. I think this is the human condition and it happens with a lot of people. So as soon as somebody has a uh, you know, they, they, they get to a certain, uh, you know, income cap, they start making a certain amount of money, they're happy for a while, and then they become unhappy again. Because I think, again, uh, you know, it's an internal problem. And, and I could go back and forth about that. Bro, my house burned down on Valentine's Day, more money would solve my problem. Well, do you think that I'm taught like, I, I wonder, like, whenever, whenever I said that, do you think that I was talking about your situation? Do you think that I was referring to the fact that your house burnt down, of course, I'm not talking about your situation. There are a lot of like, I mean, again, this and this is what I'm talking about, like with a, a, a dishonest, uh, a dishonest interpretation of things. And I, I think it's, it's more it, it's more more than not dishonest. It is something that people are intentionally misunderstanding. So this is a person who's unhappy about what I said. 
what have I said that you think you you've typed it seven times now? You, I'm thank you for numbering them. Now I now I can read it. So what what a what a, what what part of what I said is inaccurate? Like I, I most of the guys here that watch my stream and that watch my content, like we're like thirty. I don't want to have to treat people like fifteen year olds. I just want to talk about real shit and have honest conversations. And I'm not going to mince words or try to avoid certain topics because I know that might trigger some people that are like emotionally unstable. So what about this? The part where you've been defending being rich for days now because of a bad take you said years ago. What did I say that was inaccurate? What did I say? Because it's like it seems like it would be easy for you, right? I mean, you've been you've been watching now for I am burb. OK. Um. Okay. The Primavera service streamers kill servers. It's a classic WoW viewer. Okay, so he's he's a bird, guys. So what part of what I said was wrong? Is it just me or all the worst takes come from chatters who are fairly new or new followers and subs? Yeah, that's because the old ones have gotten banned and the new ones haven't gotten banned yet. That's why. I mean, it seems to me like you've been watching for... Actually, I mean, no, you've typed this like fucking Jesus, man. Like, did it really upset you that much? Did it really upset you that much? I mean, it seems like it would be very easy for you to explain what I said that was inaccurate. Now, I think the reason why... Oh, no, you just typed. Okay, okay, let me read it real quick. I, I saw your name. You literally think it's more stressful to be rich than to be poor. Okay, well, I guess I can respond to you very quickly and just get this out of the way. No, I don't. Does that help? You quit your job uh, to go up in your room and stream, so you didn't have to do regular shit jobs. So when you're in the position of all set up and claim us regular folk have better work life it's upsetting i don't think that anybody's talking about whether they have a better work life or not i, I think that it's very it, i mean there's like a million different kinds of jobs and i i'm sure like for example like working in some jobs is like infinitely more ex like stressful than like working in other jobs for example sure like i i don't think you can really make a blanket statement one way or another like now that i've explained my perspective here are you, do you have anything else to say? Because we, we've, we've gone off on such a tangent. We're two minutes into the video, guys. Two minutes into the video. We're already doing this. Were you not trying to argue that when someone makes more money that they have more stress than when they didn't make as much money? Whenever I was making four grand a month, I was a lot more happy than I am now making less, less than one grand. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> number one, you need to get off my fucking stream and start figuring out your fucking money. All right. I understand this might not be a popular thing to say, but you got to figure out your fucking money if you're making less than a thousand dollars a month, man. Like, get your shit together. And and trust me, I there were many times I was in this position too. Okay, like let's just be fucking honest. I I'm going to address what you're saying in an honest way. No, I am not saying this unequivocally period no this is not what i am saying see that i can't argue with you're right but even if you're banned in Washington, don't worry about it like but can you please just try to listen to what i'm saying like i i really wish that you guys sometimes would just listen to what i'm saying before you just start spamming and getting mad for a lot of people money is such a big problem in their life that whenever they hear anybody say anything that is even adjacent to money isn't a problem, it immediately, and I, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but it unironically triggers them. And so they stop thinking about what's actually being said, and they start arguing against something that they've heard before. They get emotional about it. And I understand that. I get it. I've been in that position myself. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I ever said. I'm not going to ban you. I, I think that you understand my perspective. If we're going to stealth ban them. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Um, but uh, yeah, no. And that's the problem is that I think people misunderstand it because they get immediately upset at the concept of it. And so they stop thinking about it. And they just start typing or just going. Okay, let's go back over here. You're not doing a people-pleasing job. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the people that you have to judge, to, sometimes the people that you have to please in your job mm -hmm. are your bosses. Or co-workers. Or co-workers. Yeah. Sometimes you're doing those jobs and yeah. they are the one that are draining you. You're co-workers. 
he's exactly right. He's totally right. But I think that he also is agreeing with my, what my perspective is because he's using the word sometimes. Sometimes that's the case. Sometimes it's not. It depends on the job. Your, your, your definition of what a client is is yep. very limited. A client can be someone from outside of your work comes into your work and then you have to serve them. But a, a client can also be other departments of your job that depend on your position. That's considered a client. And that's people pleasing. When you have to work with other departments and have to bend over backwards to just make sure no problems exist, you are people pleasing. If, if yes, every six true. months you have to have a report and you're not dealing with people outside of your work, you're just dealing with people inside of your work. And every six months, Every six months, your boss meet, meets you and it's like, yeah, we're going to see how you're doing at the job. You have to please your people, which are your bosses and whatever standards that there is in the company. Here's the truth. Well, yeah, of course you do. I mean, that's the way anything would work. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Uh, I think that having a performance review is definitely very different than talking for a living. Like there's like a different type of stress that that creates. And that's what I was talking about with like different spectrums. So like, yeah, he's totally right that you always have to please people because people give you money. Like if, if you look at like having a job as an abstract, um, we stop comparing streaming to other careers. Well, I, I think that there's, I mean, there's comparisons to be made. There's comparisons not to be made. If that's upsetting to you, I think that you're emotionally invested in this argument and you're not really interested in talking about it. I'm just trying to talk about this. That's all. If this is upsetting for you, then that's not my problem. Obviously, it's it's not the same as any other. Like, no job is the same as any other job. Well, very few jobs are the same as any other job. But of course, there's similarities be between that. Never had a real job for a long period of time. I mean, it depends on what you define by long, right? Not for more than five years and not consistently for more than two years. No. Uh, I never wanted one. About our favorite champagne socialist, okay? Mm -hmm. He comes from one of the richest families in Turkey, okay? He's incredibly wealthy. He's always been from a wealthy family. And so this trust fund baby goes on to be a very successful streamer and makes it. You don't really know about this hard work life. That's why a lot of these dudes who before the people never come from backgrounds that are... I do think that Hassan owns his success, though. Uh, it's not like somebody else gave him that success. Uh, I think that Twitch is actually one of the most free markets and YouTube is the same thing. Uh, I think that Twitch and YouTube are some of the most free markets in the entire world. And I'll explain why I think that. So there are a lot of people, Young Turks. I understand you've typed this a few times. How many views do the Young Turks get on Twitch? Because they used to have a Twitch channel. As far as I know, they, they, they don't anymore. But they got like 100 or something like that. Uh, they don't get that many. Hassan gets a lot more views than the, than the Young Turks do. So why is it that Hassan gets that many more viewers? Do you think Twitch is meritocratic? I do think that Twitch is meritocratic. I think that Twitch and YouTube is probably one of the most meritocratic places on the entire internet. I genuinely believe that. And, and here's the reason why I believe that. It's because every single one of you you are you, the viewer, are the market on Twitch. You are the viewer. You make the decision who is popular and who's not. And you make the choice. And you can make any choice that you want for who you want to watch. And if enough people make the same choice, that person becomes successful. Whether Twitch, I mean, unless they get banned, right? Uh, whether Twitch likes it or not whether other people like it or not. There's a lot of people who, you know, were very angry about like Kai and like for Aiden Ross, like Aiden Ross got shit on by everybody on Twitch, but because Aiden Ross was entertaining for his community, people came over and they watched him. And the reason for that is because it's a, it's a meritocracy. It's because if you put, if you put in work and you get noticed, you can succeed even though other people don't want you to. And so I do think that Hassan does own his success because he put in the time to succeed on Twitch. He streamed on Twitch. People every single day choose to tune in to watch Hassan. Every single day, he cho like people choose to do that. What freer market can you possibly think of than that?
Very hard to start if you're poor, though. Uh, you often don't have the time to stream. There's a lot of difficulties, and we can talk about that, too, for sure. Actually, of the people. Mm -hmm. He is... Top 1% today, he is. and even back then when he was part of his family, he was top 0.1% in Turkey. The truth about Hassan, him talking about work and everybody misunderstanding, and they're being really stupid and low IQ when they're listening to his responses, this is just a brat who's always been a bit rich brat, and he's talking about real jobs like he has the experience, but he doesn't. And he's not the I'm only not one. I'm not sure what he's done. <clears throat> because Asmund Gold. Thank God. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's all about me. All right, now we get to the good content. React to this. I, did. I actually like Asman. Uh, Thank think you. Gold is cool. I appreciate Even it. Even if he looks homeless every day. Well. He is my favorite homeless millionaire streamer. This has been my uh -huh. opinion observing most streamers and content creators. Thank you. Most of them are completely out of touch with reality. So people mm -hmm. getting mad. It's a bad take. What's it a bad take of? He says that he gets exhausted socially because he's talking to people for nine hours a yeah. day. You really think that's... You really think that's not true? That's not what he said. I mean, you really think it's not true? That's not the only thing that he said. He didn't say that he, he, he... He's right. He's right. That isn't the only thing he said. So, like, you know, like in video games where, like, you have, like, critical strike, haste, mastery, uh, you know, hit rating, and, and all of the different stats that, like, accumulate into damage? Okay. Well, let's say the DPS that, a, uh, that the job of streaming does to you is lower than the DPS that a job of a police officer does to you, or the DPS that they a a uh, like a nurse does to you. But that doesn't mean that maybe streamers might have a higher crit rating in their situation. So I'm not saying that, of course, everything that Hassan said in the clip is completely accurate, but I'm saying that from his own personal experiences it is, and I don't think that anybody can really go and take his own personal experiences away from him. You mean parry rating? Yeah, sure. He's drained because he's working nine hours a day and he's mm -hmm. talking to people for nine hours yeah, yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can understand that. Yeah, I can okay. understand the fact that you're going to be drained. 100%. Talking of, he said that his job... There's not, it's more draining than any normal job. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I don't think that that's really what Hassan was trying to say because he was really talking about, and, and like also, like, I don't like, because I've, I've watched Hassan for years. I've known Hassan, I've talked to Hassan. I don't think that's really what he thinks. Now, maybe he, maybe he should have said it in a way that was better, but I don't think that he thinks that. So, like, we can talk about the way that he communicated that and if it could have been communicated in a better way. Sure. But I'm talking about, like, what the intent was behind the communication. I don't think, like, if you asked Hassan, do you think that you work harder than a doctor that works in an emergency room uh, on residency? I think that Hassan would say no. I, I do, or I, I really think that he would say no. So, like, we can have a conversation about, like, taking things, like, just super direct. But I think that if you look at the context of what he was talking about, he was referring back to, like, a job that he had. And he was talking about, like, his own personal experience with it rather than all jobs. But these guys are right. I mean, they're right that, yeah... He did say that. I just, I think that it was very clear in my mind that wasn't what he intended. Excluding retail, to okay. be fair. And, 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 and life doesn't work like that. Nope. If he just, if he just had said, my work, what I do right now, is extremely draining. You would have yeah. just said that. I would have been like, yeah, my man. But what did he say? But you said that. Your job is more draining than any normal real job. No. Fucking no, my guy. It doesn't work like that. The world doesn't work like that. Nothing works like that. But what you're going to... Yeah, and, and I think that they're right. I do. I don't think that Hassan meant it that way. And after, after listening to the clip, I think that it's kind of obvious that he didn't mean it that way. You can read his mind. No, it's not that I can read somebody's mind... It's that I'm interpreting what the person is saying in a way that is, I think, generous and 
authentic to what the intent of the words are. You're being generous. I think that it's important to be generous to another person's perspective. Yeah, I, I try to interpret everything that people say in good faith, because if you don't do that, I, I feel like everybody is going to make like, a, you, you know, like verbal mistakes. He has a massive track record of saying retarded shit. Well, so do I. I think that anybody who streams that long has a massive track record for saying retarded shit. You're going to include nurses? You're going to talk to me yeah, about no, people in yeah, the force? Yeah, but they're saying socially doesn't drain their batteries. It could! You're dealing... What are you talking... I know, you trolling. You just trolling. Uh, but, but I think his point is that a lot of these people who work in these kinds of jobs after work, they like to go out. They like to go out, That's grab not, beers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Accountants will do that, but Ooh. then... Have... That's not everybody. That's a couple of people. And if, if it was so... The, the city would be filled with happy hour would be every day. Happy hour is on Thursday. It would be filled with people every night. Now, nah, some people, they go home. You know why they go home? Because after they go to work, even if they don't feel like it, they got families to attend to. And they got to do that. Yep. That is so out of touch. So stu That is stupid take. All right. Oh, all right. And him back in. Let, let it play for a little bit. And then we'll go. Off. The, okay, after you me. spend nine hours being investigated by thousands of people, with every facial movement, everything you say, every word, mm -hmm. with people constantly trying to disagree with you and fight with you. That's not emotionally, or sorry, like socially draining. It is exhausting. This is totally yes, understandable. Do you wanna know the biggest privilege these guys got? got? What? They choose to stream nine hours. 100%. They literally can turn it off after four. They can turn this is always the weakness. And, and, and the thing is that he's right, but at the same time, I don't think that he is right. So I think the mindset that he has is accurate, but at the same time, these guys probably, I can guarantee you that there's probably a lot of times that these guys make videos and they're like, I don't really feel like making a video today, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't feel like doing this right now. I'm going to do it anyway. And the reason why is because it's their job. And that's what you do whenever, I mean, these guys really, what they have is they have, they own their own business. That's really what it is. So of course you always have the luxury of being able to take time off, but whenever you're not out there competing and putting yourself out there, other people are, and you know how, so, I mean, especially with like social media, right? Like, it, you have to be posting all the time. And of course you can take time off. Absolutely. But there is a risk to taking that time off. And I'm not saying that it's not a privilege to be able to do that. But what I am saying is that it doesn't come with a cost. Put it off after five. But because they want to make more money, mm -hmm. yeah. they keep streaming. And then they want to get up here and then complain about how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Who here gets to choose their fucking hours at work? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people. The fact that you guys even have the goal to compare yourselves to regular people when your extra hours of labor are rewarded with more and more money is insane. Well, I think most people get paid overtime, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, if, if anybody is, is working extra and you're not being paid for that, you're not getting paid overtime. Not salary? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, but if you're being paid hourly, you do get paid extra. No, you dumb fuck. No, that that. So you, you if guys, if you're being and also like, I don't know about the country you're in, but like if you're in the US and you're being made to work over your hours that you're supposed to work, you need to file a complaint and you could maybe have a lawsuit and then you wouldn't have to work and maybe you could have time streaming. That's illegal. So yeah, not everyone can afford a lawyer, bro. You're so out of touch. So what you're saying is that because some people can't afford a lawyer, and they can't get anything done. Actually, to be, by the way, to be fair, if this was actually true, any lawyer would take this case pro bono, which means that they would take it for free and then just take a percentage of the settlement money because they would know that they could win this case very easily and get millions of dollars from the company. So that's actually not true and it's not logical. And you could easily talk to any lawyer and figure this out immediately. So it's again, just people that don't understand the topic at all it's called contingency case yeah of course and i work 80 hours for two weeks and i go to overtime because i know it'll make my check much bigger so i keep going to make it more than 80. yeah exactly and so that's generally what happens and i think that if you are working more and you're not being paid for the amount of time that you're working you're being taken advantage of and if you're working an hourly wage and that's happening to you 
you need to contact a lawyer and you need to file a lawsuit. And I guarantee you that the money that you're going to make from that lawsuit will vastly outweigh the money that you're not going to make from that job. Like these, these are like, I'm talking about like seven figure lawsuits, eight figure lawsuits that these companies have to pay out if this happens. Like, for example, Walmart had this problem in like the 2010s. Like it was like somewhere around, it's actually the year 2010. Yeah, that's the way it is. And so uh, enough, it's a small business that you're suing. Yeah, there are always going to be exceptions, but I think in a general sense, this is true. And in, in a general sense, if you do work more, you will be paid more. Right. For most jobs and most ethical jobs. Are there unethical jobs that take advantage of you? Absolutely. Is that the norm? I don't think that's the norm. Damn. Enough touch. Lawsuit's going to pay a bill. So does anybody have an argument about why that's not true? So is there any form? I, I believe that there is a form of compensation that people do have to be paid with a salary as well. If they're working overtime, is that true entirely? I, I don't really entirely know every single law about this i work salary and i get paid 2x my pay if i work overtime yeah so there are some people that do have that some people that don't and so yeah there's somebody for example that that that's a good example yeah you could argue if a large company is not paying or doing it properly overtime would be a class action lawsuit well of course it would be yeah absolutely different uh, differences your millionaires that decide to work more because you want to well what would it matter why would that matter so if I'm talking about, so for example, like if I'm talking about, and I think this is really what the problem is that people have with this topic, is that people are unwilling to accept that anybody that makes a lot of money is allowed to have any problems with their job. And I think that that's just generally the reality. It's that people are not willing to accept and they are not sympathetic and they don't care about what a person who's making a lot of money is is having. And I don't think that any actual logical investigation into my perspective will reveal me being wrong. And I invite anyone out there, any any content creator that wants to farm views, please logically investigate my position and then provide the ways that I am inaccurate in what I'm saying. I have no pro I I have no problem putting myself out there because that's See, the thing is, like, I, I don't have a problem with people making videos about this or, or getting mad about this or anything, because I do think that I am logically right. I think that what I am saying is true. And while there are the existence of jobs that do take advantage of people, these jobs are generally seen as being very, very bad, oftentimes illegal. And there are lawsuits that happen all the time. And also, I think that there are a lot of people that whenever they do work over, how many of you guys get overtime pay? Okay, so that's my point. So again, um, I have no problem with people saying that I'm wrong. I have no issue with that. And I invite anybody who thinks that I am incorrect in my analysis of these things to express themselves and explain how. I don't have a large ego about this position, to be honest with you. I think that I'm right, but... If somebody provides like evidence, then I will reevaluate what I think. You're going to stream and speak on React on super controversial topics and complain about it being draining because you're arguing with thousands of viewers. Um. Well, yeah, yeah, it is draining. Of course, it it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course, it can be draining. But I still I still show up every day. And also, like, when was the last time like I really complained about my stream? I feel like I've pretty much stopped doing that. When do, when do I complain about my stream? Today? Really? You think that I'm... I, I, I haven't complained about it at all. No, I, I, I love my stream. I was looking forward to start my stream today, like, all day. No, yeah, I, I'm not... I'm not about that at all. That's what I'm spamming, talking over. Uh, I think you made the point, not certain. Uh, not to complain. Yeah, I, I do make it a point not to complain about my stream. Uh, because I know that people think this, and I know that people uh, people actively live in, uh, I, I guess, uh, what what's the word for it? Like, uh, people live in a sense of constant frustration that they see people like Hassan or people like me, and they're like, well, these people are in a very good position, 
and I don't want to hear these people complain about their position at all because my position is very bad. And I, I understand that. Now, this is, in my opinion, I, I understand it, but I, I, to be honest with you, I really don't respect it. I'm sorry, but I, I actually I, I don't respect feeling that way because it's an emotional perspective that's selfish. And I think that anybody out in the world has a right to own their own problems and nobody else in the world has the right to take that away from them. And I really dislike this idea that because some person has it bad, they try to go out of their mind, out of their way to invalidate other people who have other problems that they deem less important. I think this is an incredibly toxic way of talking. It's an incredibly toxic way of looking at the world. And at the end of the day, I think that we're all very privileged in a lot of cases. That's why we're sitting on here with high speed Internet, probably in most of the cases, air conditioned houses in a first world country, in many cases as well, according to my analytics, having conversations about this kind of stuff. We are all incredibly privileged, at least according to many other people in the world. So I try to have empathy for other people's perspectives and I try to see how other people feel. And I try to look past what the words people are saying are and then actually listen to where they're trying to get at and what they're trying to say. So, no, I do not respect the position that people will just dislike you because you're expressing that you're unhappy or stressed out. I do not respect this position at all. However, I know that many people have it. Yeah, uh, but you're a millionaire complaining about your uh, job to mostly middle class viewers. It's not the right place to bitch about your job. Um, I think I think actually here's the truth. I think that people don't want to hear someone bitch about their job. No, actually, I think that you're right, but it actually has nothing to do with a, a class thing. I was actually having this conversation today. Uh, I was talking to like Emmy and Tectone about it. Um, imagine like you go to the store and the cashier is talking to you about how much they hate their job. This would be kind of uncomfortable, right? Imagine you're getting your hair cut and you're having somebody tell you like as they're cutting your hair how much they hate cutting hair and how frustrating it is for them and how much they don't want to do it this would probably be weird and you wouldn't like that right yeah i don't want to hear it so i actually don't think that this is a class barrier thing i think that it's something that is just as simple as people want the monkey to do the thing that they're paying the monkey to do that's all there is to it and whether it's uh streaming whether it's uh playing you know, a sport, whether it's uh, working at a gas station, whether it's anything, dance, monkey, dance. That's the way it is. We don't pay you. You absolutely do. You're watching me. You're paying me. I'm making money off of you one way or another. That's a wild statement with that on preaching screen. I mean, it's just, listen, if people want to turn this into some weird shit, go ahead. But I think that any person, especially them, they totally understand what I'm saying. And I think that they, they definitely would agree. I think they would agree with me. Is that whenever they pay somebody money, they don't want to have somebody go and talk about their life problems. Right? They just want to very easily and simply have this person do the thing that they were paying the money to do. And I think that people view streamers as the same thing. So they don't want to hear streamers complain. But I also don't think that you want to hear a cashier complain. I don't think you want to hear a hairdresser complain. I don't think you want to hear anybody complain. Because the truth is, is you probably don't really care about their problems. You don't give a shit. You just want to get your thing done. That's it. So yeah, I, I do understand that. Do I respect that? No, I don't. I really don't. Because I think it's an unempathetic perspective. But I totally understand it. Does that make sense? And sometimes I feel that way too. It's it's like yeah. the levels of disconnected people, like why should we feel any sympathy or give a shit about what your struggles is? You're literally choosing it. That's like you do it for money and then complaining it hurts. Wow, this slap was hard. Slap. That's true. Yep, you're right. And And there are always going to be negative effects to doing anything. I don't think it's bad for somebody to talk about the negative effects that they have uh, from doing something. Softer. <laughs> don't slap yourself, dumbass. Nobody cares. You have a job now where he's you're... right. He is right. He's fucking right about that. He is. And that's what it comes down to. But I think nobody cares is true for everything. I don't think that the streaming element 
is anything that's that special. You've said that a million times. Yes. And remember the last time I said nobody cares? Oh, nobody liked that. But now whenever they say it, everybody's like, yeah. But you know what? They're right now and I was right then. It's true. You're extremely gifted and privileged. Nobody cares. You choose your hours. Shut the yeah. fuck about your problems. And certainly, if you're going to talk about it, don't compare yourself to regular people. I'm just even, I'm even going to throw OnlyFans, OnlyFans models in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And all the ex-workers and stuff like that. Because what they have to do to make the money that we... Shut the fuck up. Yes. Because I wouldn't... And do you remember whenever I said, before these dudes made the video, I said that people said the same thing about OnlyFans girls too? I, I put I put the OnlyFans girls in this same category. Yep, because everybody fucking knows it. But the reality is, like, whenever a girl like Amarath is talking about, like, oh, yeah, some guy tried to burn my house down. I can sympathize with that being bad. That's horrible. That's terrible that that happened to you. That's really, really bad. Do that. No. Shout outs to them. Turn it off. The shit that they would have to do to make that amount. Shut up. Do you guys realize? Oh my. Literally, geez. if they wanted to, this is something that you regular people can't do because yeah. you're literally going to lose your homes. You know what they need to do just to solve all their problems? Not do it! <laughs> That's the third <laughs> shit up. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. To do the white balance. Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Someone actually said real job. I really wish they would cut to the part where do you remember what I said that was the same thing? I said that if you're getting cyberbullied or you're getting upset, turn your chair around and then realize that it's not real. No, I think it's definitely true. I agree with them. Yeah, absolutely. What does that mean? A real oh, yeah, job I used is to the job that regular. you have. Bullshit jobs are the ones that other people have. It's just that simple. It is. No, no. Okay, this is why I don't understand if these people ever work. What a bullshit no. job is a job where you are paid to literally just exist. You're a number. Like, if you've ever worked for the government. You're not being paid to exist. See, this is, this is actually, I'm going to completely disagree with him here. You are not being paid to exist. You are being paid to be a conduit for advertising. You stopped too early? Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'll keep going. There's a lot of bullshit jobs there. Why? Because the government just got money to spend. They got to meet certain quotas. So they literally hire people. I've been told this at my job. You're there to look busy. Do you know how fucking crazy that is? That is a bullshit job. I could get my eight hours of work done. I heard that after they changed... Um... No, no. He does have a point with this. He does. I... I... And... Like, if he wants to look at it from that perspective, I actually can't argue with that. Because I remember that, I think this happened during, like, the unionization of railroads. And after some, like, railroads and, like, trains moved from being, like, coal to having some other type of, like, powered, they had the unions that had the guys that put the coal in the train, even though they would still sit on the train and get paid a full fucking wage for doing nothing. And so, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's, that's, I, I hate to say it. That is kind of, it is kind of a bullshit job, but they aren't complaining. I don't know. But in two hours, but I uh -huh. have to not do that so I can look busy throughout or else yeah. if I finish it too fast, and I'm too productive. Either they give me another bunch of bullshit work yeah. or They'll just literally tell me you're reprimanded for not doing your job. What the but fuck is that? That is what it's called a bullshit job. This is what happened. Like, I had this at the IRS. Uh, whenever you would finish all of your work, if you finished it early, sometimes we just got to sit around and do fucking nothing. But really, the reward for finishing all of your work is that now you have to do other people's work. Yeah, that's definitely true. Those exist. Those exist in huge numbers. <laughs> and then there's real jobs. They're not the same thing. He makes thousands of dollars a day. Him trying, him making. I, I do think that, like in that case, he's right. Um, I was more or less referring to the idea that being a streamer isn't like is a bullshit job or anything like that. 
uh, and, and you're not really being paid to exist. I think that a streamer is effectively being paid to be a conduit for advertising. That's the main way that streamers make money. Trying to relate to normal working people is fucking stupid. Well, there are normal working people that also make thousands of dollars oh, a day. He's not going to like this. So, like, I don't really understand, like, what your point is. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I get it, guys. I get it. You know what I said? You know what I said? I was clearly referring to people that did not work in entertainment. There are many people who do not work in entertainment who make thousands of dollars a day. Do you genuinely believe that I honestly think that the average normal person make thousands of dollars a day? Of course, I do not honestly believe that a normal person makes thousands of dollars a day. In the context of what I was saying, I was talking about people that worked in entertainment. And I said that people that work outside of entertainment, some of them also make thousands of dollars a day. And it's not only people that work in entertainment that make this much money. That's it. I get it. I get it. I could have said it better. All right. I, I, I could have said it better. That That's... You know, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my guy, I, I don't know what working people you know that the normal working people that are making thousands of dollars. <laughs> you guys know what thousands of dollars a day is? Let's have granted. Let's say eight hundred thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Do you know how much that is over the course? Of a whole month? That's a lot. That's $9,000 a month. Yeah. Nobody You does. think there's people out here? Nobody does that. Making anywhere from 60 to 70, making close to a million a year? Nobody does. Absolutely, yeah. I processed 1040s. Yes, 1%. You understand that 1% out of a country of 300 million people is millions of people, right? That's not normal people. No, they're not. CEOs and, uh, from I don't know. Maybe I have a different perspective on what 1% is. But I think that 1% is a big number. I do. I think 1% is a very large number. He sometimes don't even do that. Uh, Stop. This is the problem, okay? And this is what streamers yeah. and content creators, okay? Your job, okay? Is it difficult? Maybe, yes. Sure. Nobody cares. Shut the fuck up about it. You want to know why? True, 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 so true. But I don't think it has anything to do with being a streamer. I don't think anybody gives a fuck about anybody else's job. In some cases, people pretend to. I think this is the case with everybody's job. And you see this all the time on the internet. Because you're well compensated, mm -hmm. extremely well compensated for the level of difficulty of your job. And this is how most people internalize this and whether or not they want to hear about your suffering. Mm -hmm. How difficult is your job? How well do you get compensated for it? If your job is extremely difficult mm -hmm. and hard to manage, but you get paid peanuts, complain as you want. I, will I don't think so. I think that actually I don't agree with that because if you look at, for example, like culturally, I think that culturally people definitely look down on construction workers. They look down on sanitation workers. Absolutely, that's true. And they get paid shit and they have to work harder than anybody else. I think fast food workers are the most true as well. A hundred percent. So I, I don't think that society actually has this perspective. Bad take, I think. Uh, construction is very well paid. Uh, it depends. But yeah, in some cases, that's the case. In some cases, it's not. There are a lot of question marks in the chat. People are unhappy about this. Okay. Let me ask you a different question that has the same outcome. Whenever you were in high school, how many of you were made to think that if you didn't go to college, you kind of just didn't really make it? Me? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. You understand that I'm just saying it in a different direction. This is, again, it's intellectual dishonesty here. People aren't trying to listen to what I'm saying.
the point. The point is that in society, people look down on those jobs. And I actually don't think society has a genuine respect for how difficult the job is versus how much people get paid. And I think the evidence for that is the fact that people generally look down on fast food workers. And I think working in fast food and working in the kitchen is harder than almost anything. I, it, I, it, working in the kitchen, in my opinion, is harder than streaming. It's in, it, 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 like there is almost no other job that I would rather like I would rather do almost any other job in the entire world than work in a kitchen. It's soul crushing. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. And nobody respects those people at all. Are we really going to pretend that people respect fast food workers? Because they don't. Can you clarify Abba's argument? Society looks down on those jobs. I think he was talking about an individual's ability to complain. Well, uh, can you clarify? Yeah, I I'll, I'll talk about this just for a second, just so you can understand what I'm saying. So Abba's argument is society looks down on those jobs. Is Abba's argument that society looks down on those jobs? Yes, I think he's implying that. And so, like, if if you let, let's listen just for a minute, and we'll we'll, we'll go through it. How well do you get? Well, it, it, it's his argument is that they don't, and I think that they do. Sorry, uh, excuse me. His argument is that basically you have a right to complain if you are not being paid a lot of money, but your job is really hard. That's what he's saying, right? I just want to understand what. Like, I just want to make sure that we're all clear. So he's saying that if you make a lot of money and you don't work very hard, you don't have the right to complain. But if you do make a lot, if you don't make a lot of money and you do work very hard, then you do have the right to complain. And I think that he's arguing this from a social norms perspective, because that's the only way that you can argue something like this. Right. Because he's saying, like, this is what's OK societally and what's not. And I, I disagree with that. I don't think that's true. And I think that the cultural value that people put on fast food workers and sanitation workers and uh what was the third one i used oh construction workers uh is evidence for the fact that i don't think that's really true on a societal level and i think that the evidence that a lot of us have experienced that kind of proves that is the fact that whenever many of us went to high school these types of jobs were referred to as not really making it you're confusing hard work with shitty work Fast food isn't difficult to do. It just sucks because the pay is trash. I completely disagree with you. I think that working in a kitchen is more physically straining than almost any other job. I totally disagree with you. I actually think that working in a kitchen and working in one of these fast food places is incredibly straining. It's really, really fucking hard. You're so disconnected from reality. It's quite entertaining. Can you explain how I'm disconnected? Can you explain that? You're so unaware? No, no, no. I, I have no problem. Try working on an oil rig. Oh, yeah. No, you're definitely right. Th there, are, there are jobs that are harder. <sighs> it, I, 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 yeah. I mean, did I say it was the hardest? I probably shouldn't have said that working in a kitchen is the hardest thing you can do. No, I, I don't think it's the hardest thing you can do. Um, but it is incredibly physically taxing. And I think that it is more physically taxing than they than the vast majority of jobs. Of course, there are jobs that are more physically taxing than working in a kitchen. But I do think that working in a kitchen is in like it's like if you want to have like a tier list, it's in like the A tier. And if not in the A tier, in some places, it's probably in the low S tier in terms of like most stressful. I'm going to go up post after getting caught. Well, no, I mean, sometimes I'm just I mean, I'm, I'm talking extemporaneously. Right. So like maybe I might say a word that's incorrect. Sure. Why is this even an argument? Well, no, no, I, it, it's not. I'm just trying to have a conversation. I mean, obviously, I, I might have misstated something, but it's not really a big deal, is it? So so if I'm OK, all right, you typed. You make a lot of assumptions based on no experience of the examples that you use, but your opinion is yours and mine is mine. No, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to go and say this. And then not have an example. Where is the example? I want you to tell me what I said that makes me. Why? Why can't you just do that? Just back up your point. If if I'm you make if I make a lot of them, then you can think of one example, right? Let's think of one example. I have fast food at 15 at McDonald's Burger King. It wasn't hard or physically taxing. Hence why all young kids do it. 
I don't think that's a very good argument because I think that young kids are probably in the best shape to be able to do stuff like that, especially with having to bend over and pick stuff up all the time. I think that it would make sense that young people would do that. It's the same reason why young people are in the military. Well, you did say fast food first and kitchen jobs. There are kitchen jobs that are physically taxing, but I wouldn't say fast food kitchens are part of that. I think that having to stand up all day without being able to sit down. So like, I don't know about how all the different places work, but I know that whenever I worked at Sam's Club and then I talked to other people that worked the jobs that were similar to that, you were literally not allowed to sit down. That's crazy. And that's really rough. I mean, that's extremely physically taxing. Like, I don't even see how this is an argument. It's crazy how people don't have that. Kitchen work is mentally stressful. Yeah, I, I would say it is. Sure. You're off the rails of Abba and Preach's point. Um, no, my point is that I think that kitchen work is very hard. It is some of the hardest work that people have to do outside of very extreme examples. Like, for example, like I would say kitchen work is generally more physically demanding than basically any office job. It's really, really fucking hard. It is extremely fast paced. It is high demand. You, in a lot of places, have almost no autonomy. And it's fucking hot. So, yeah. It, and, and also, you get paid for shit. And people talk down to you constantly. Ever see the in and out workers all over the place? The uh, confusion is here. People are having trouble understanding how Ab is making a narrative, uh, normative argument, which is what you're responding to. Yes, I, I think that... Oh, shit. You got timed out. Sorry about that. Um, you typed something, and it was pretty big. I'm a, a mechanic in my field in the area, and we aren't paid very well. We are treated very well by people because people tend to have their own opinion on what we should do, what rather than we actually do. I get it, though. It's different in different areas. I'm speaking from my own experience and comparing towards experience that you've shared in your own life. Yeah, no, I, I get that. And I think that that's good. And also, I, I, I would also like I, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Of course, people aren't going to tell that to you directly, right? So people are clearly not going to say directly to you. Let me untime you out, too. Sorry. Um People are not going to say and disrespect you personally, right? Uh, but they do still hold that opinion. I think that's that's true. And also, like, you're talking about, like, your personal experience. And, of course, like, everybody's personal experience informs how they view society. But I personally think that society actually doesn't care about how hard somebody's job is. But maybe Abba's point would be a little bit stronger if you added in a third component, which is education. I think that uneducated people that have to work really hard aren't respected, but educated people that do have to work really hard are respected. I think that's a little bit clearer, but in terms of uneducated work, I, I really don't think that society has that perspective. That isn't his point. I think that it is. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but I really think that that's the point that he's making. I, I think that like, so l let's listen to it real quick and... I, I will we'll, we'll go through it. Okay. Missing his point. Yeah. Let's listen to it again. People internalize this okay, and whether or not they want to hear about your suffering. Okay. Oh, oh wait. Well compensated okay. for the level of difficulty of your job. And this is how most people internalize this and whether so you're talking not, about most people you're talking about society, most people, how they want to hear about your suffering. How difficult is your job? How well do you get? compensated for it yeah if your job is extremely difficult and hard to manage but you get paid peanuts complain as you want i will never get mad at a garbage man for whining about their job want to know why because they get peanuts to go pick up your fucking trash i i agree i agree i totally agree with them i i wouldn't get mad about a garbage man complaining about his job but i also wouldn't get mad about a doctor or a streamer complain, complaining about their job I don't think that it's accurate that society actually cares about the plight of these people that have uh, very low paying jobs. And I don't think that in terms of what he said, most people, I don't think that's accurate. Stuck streamer into examples. Well, yeah, of course, because that's what we're talking about. Wouldn't it be? Most people complain about their job and then don't do anything about it. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, we'll get mad when a streamer says his job is more draining than mine. Oh, sure. He's talking about in terms of job difficulty. Yeah, but I don't think that people really, I, I don't. I don't agree with his assumption that most people care about whether your job is hard or not based off of how well you're getting paid and how hard your job is. I actually don't think that people care about that. 
And I don't think that they respect it either. And I think the proof of that is how society treats a lot of, uh, you know, again, like growing up and going to high school and how going to college was viewed as being successful and not going to college was viewed as not being successful. That, that's, that's really what it is. Poll it. That's not his point. That is absolutely his point. He didn't say people would care. He said they tolerate the complaining. That means that they care. Anybody who's complaining about their job. So here's a really good example of this. Um, recently, there's been... No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll explain myself. That is caring? Yes, it is. Chat's being dishonest now? Yes, chat is being dishonest. I know that there's a lot of people who are agreeing or sorry, uh, getting mad. There are a lot of people who are unhappy because I'm not bowing down to an emotional argument. Why would I admit to being wrong for something that I'm not wrong about? And again, if somebody has evidence of me being wrong, please provide the evidence. Okay, here we go. An example for why people care about the money aspect is because you can work a shit job and then tell your parents to pay and then suddenly it's okay. It happened with me in the IT field and my parents wanted a doctor only, but after I showed the pay, suddenly I'm respected. I'm trying to like, give me a minute to like think about, because no, he's right. He's right about what he's saying. He's definitely right about what he's saying. I'm trying to think about like if that contradicts what I was saying. It does, but how though? But yeah, can you explain to me how that contradicts it? Because maybe I'm not entirely understanding what the difference is. You say that people are annoyed because of the complaining and not the money. I'm saying that the money matters in regards to people's feelings towards the job. I don't know if it fully disproves you or anything, but I think the money matters basically. But I think that that's really the point that I'm making. And I, I actually think that you're agreeing with me. Because so what you're saying is that your job is very well respected because you're making a lot of money. So that means that if you work in, for example, fast food, your job isn't very well respected because you don't make a lot of money. So the respect actually isn't derived from how hard you're working. It's in fact derived from the money that you're making, which is what I said. And I think that's what I was arguing against with what he said. I don't know if it fully disproves or anything, but I think money matters. Yeah, yeah, 100% it does, 100%. People respect jobs that make a lot of money. People don't respect jobs that don't make a lot of money. It's that simple. And I think people always tell you that they respect any job that they that you do, and they'll be nice to you, but then they'll laugh behind your back if you work in a job that's not socially accepted. I think that's really the truth. That's the reality. That's what I think. Teachers? I think a lot of people massively disrespect teachers. If I was president, I would double the teacher's salary for every single teacher in the U.S., instantly. I think that's the reason why we have bad teachers in a lot of cases. It's because why would somebody want to be a teacher whenever they could work in the private sector and make twice as much money? And I think teachers are disrespected because they don't make a lot of money. Absolutely. You can see it all the time. Like, for example, anytime that there's a conversation of like a teacher um, doing anything or complaining about anything, uh, I, I think you can see people all the time in the comments talking shit about it. Yeah, for sure. Especially by students. Yeah, students disrespect them too. Oh, do you see your point? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I and that's what I'm saying, right? Is like I, I, I really don't think that I'm 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 off base with this at all. And again, like if somebody it, again, like I, I I hope that you guys understand that I have no problem listening to other people's perspectives. I, I I will I will listen to other people's perspectives, and I will hear what they have to say, and I will try to interpret it in a good faith way. Let's keep going. Go ahead. Your guys' difficulty level may be at a four or five, but you get compensated so goddamn well, nobody trying to hear that shit. Whenever people come to me like, man, isn't YouTube shit hard? I'm like, yeah, I guess, it, it, but, it, it, it it is, but I get paid so well, I'm going to shut the fuck up about it. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, like, there's definitely, like, there's, like, extreme examples, things like getting, uh, getting, like, stalked and, like, having people, like, attack you in real life. Like, there are, like, definitely, like, super, super extreme examples about it. But overall, yeah, I totally agree with them. Absolutely. Because I'm not going to go back to my old job. Want to know why? Because I used to get paid shit to True. do extremely hard work True. then. That's most people's reality. Yes. Most people are not being compensated half as well as the difficulty of their job. So they don't want to hear you bitch and moan about the fact that it's so socially draining. Like, they don't got to deal with the same shit for one hundredth of your paycheck. You're He's completely right about this, but I don't think that him being right about this justifies the behavior. I would say, like, I don't know, ethically, 
and and this is this is kind of like maybe a high ground take of mine but i think that in general you should try to listen and understand how people feel even if you feel like you're in a better position than them because i think that the uh I, I think that it's very easy to effectively like dehumanize people and invalidate how they feel and what they think whenever you place them in a position mentally that is above you. And that's what I was talking about before, how upwards discrimination is very popular in America. And I was talking about how that's corrosive and bad. And so, yeah, I actually I, I understand that this is the case. And that's why I never like. When was the last time I complained about streaming? Like, for example, I used to tweet all the time, oh, my stream's been so hard, I have to take a break again. I never do that. I don't do that. I have not done that in literally fucking years. But I don't think this is an ethically good thing, even though he is stating a reality. And it is a reality that I do reinforce. Asking for sympathy, whilst also belittling their experience, talk about how much harder you have it. Bro. You're not gonna get nobody's sympathy. And if you don't True. understand that, that's because you're fucking out of touch. Nobody's trying to hear that shit. Yeah. And I know Asmongold knows this, because a while back, he was telling 100%. game developers, I don't give a f how hard your shit is. Nobody's trying- Totally try fucking true. Absolutely 100 fucking percent true. And I said that with streaming, absolutely. Nobody gives a fuck how you feel. And, and it's the same thing, like, so you can make, and, and this this might seem like a bit of whiplash because I'm talking about like two separate things, right? So like I can talk about like the ethical world that I think is best and that I try to live by in the cases that I can, which is trying to listen and understand how other people feel and trying to like basically compromise with people by understanding them and taking them at face value and trying to empathize with what people's perspective is. I think this is a good thing. However, back over here in reality, outside of my own ethical uh, utopia, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. This is the hypocrisy, though. Well, of course. Yeah. You're missing the entire point of the video? No, I'm not. I, I, I think I understand it entirely. Uh, what am I not? What am I not missing? You're greed on how something can be socially draining, and rather than complain about Hassan, they are mostly mad about you. Well, that's okay. people can be mad about me as as much as they want. That's fine. It it's just the internet. Who cares? I I mean, really, guys, it's not a big deal. Oh my God, there are some tweets that yeah. Let me turn the chair. You care? I do care. I wish that everybody agreed with me, and it's disappointing to me that I feel like I'm going up against people. It's like you can tell them that you're looking at the color red, and they'll tell you that it's green. It's very frustrating for me to do that, and I do think that you know the uh, you know if you gaze into the abyss long enough, the abyss will gaze back into you. I think that we're beginning to descend into the abyss. However, I do. I do like having conversations like this. I do, I, I do unironically enjoy it. I maybe, maybe that's a fucking mental disorder, but I genuinely don't find this like mentally or like emotionally taxing. I think it's totally fine. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. And here, make the fucking games. Mm -hmm. Xavier's tweet was well intentioned, and he went on to add a lot of important. He he made a lot of very good points. He did. But I think it misses well, the perspective of the of consumer. I but literally said does. that. And this is the thing, is developers need to stop. Like, nobody gives a fuck about, oh, oh, it's so hard. Get the, shut the fuck up, pussy. Stop yep. crying. Yep. You either do it or you don't. Holy fuck. Just that nobody cares about, oh, it's so hard. Oh, well, this is... Bro, True. you're talking to people that work in construction? Yeah. you're gonna say that it's hard? Your job could be more demanding Absolutely. than that. I don't know. But guess what? To them, it's not. But now when yep. it's you guys, it's like, oh, we want... And you expect sympathy for what? Re no, I, I don't expect it at all. And I know that I won't get it. No, he's totally right. This is a complete contradiction of what I'm saying. And that's what I was talking about before with like how I think things should be versus how I think things are. And like, in my opinion, I find it to be problematic that people think that way. But I also know that that's true. Does that make sense? 
Uh, I, I'll respond to some comments here. Love your ability to do a complete 180 when faced with major backlash. When at level content creators contradict your opinions. Way to walk back on your points. Never punch up, but it's easy to punch down. What did I say that was inaccurate? You literally just said you contradict yourself, so accept that and stop digging? No, I... So basically, what I'm saying is that I think that people are being unreasonable for saying that a person can't complain about the way that they feel. But I also don't think that you should accept sympathy for... Uh, or sorry, you should... Let me think of a way to put this. I think you can obviously express the way that you feel, and you can't tell somebody the way that they feel doesn't exist. Yeah, this is a good way to say it. So it's that it's not that a person can't feel a certain way, because I think that what people are saying is that you can't feel a certain way, which I think is not true. I think that you can obviously feel a certain way, but you can't expect other people to care about it. And I think that also that's kind of a bad thing in a lot of cases, but it is still true. Does that make sense? Seems hypocritic because you actively feel a way that you say is unethical to feel. Well, of course it's hypocritical because everything that I, so this is the reality is that there are a lot of things that I take advantage of in life that are hypocritical. Like, for example, I think slavery is bad and I have no problem consuming content that is made through slavery because I don't really care about it that much. And I think that we all do that, like POW World, stuff like that. And it's like, for example, I think stealing is bad, but I would have no problem pirating music. I think speeding is bad, but I speed regularly. Not too fast, though, by the way. Um, so, yeah. And, and so I think that really I get what you're saying. But you have to look at it from my perspective as well. And I think that we all do this. People just affirmed Asmon's point. They only want to hear what they want to hear and they're stupid. They refuse to try to understand someone's point. Yes. Nobody thinks streaming is the easiest thing to do, but you literally play video games for a living and you make so much money. There's no point coming on here and talking about the hardships of streaming when everyone would switch roles with you. I understand that. And that was what I basically said about game developers. Uh, that's definitely true. You're totally right. But that doesn't mean that those that that the way that they feel is invalid. Do you see what I'm saying? And I think that it's not unreasonable to expect somebody to be drained. Like, for example, I, I think that like those game developers, they are massively drained. They are massively stressed out. It does really suck for them. And I totally acknowledge that all of those bad things that happen to those game developers are all real. But here's the difference. I don't give a fuck because I want to play a good game. In the same way that you don't give a fuck because you want to play a good game and because you want to watch a good stream. That's the difference. Does that make sense? That's not the argument. The argument was streaming drains you more than any normal job. Yeah, I don't really think that Hassan meant it that way. And uh, if he did, he is wrong. Uh, I, so, so is that... Can we kind of speed run the rest of this? Um, let me make sure you're misconstruing. Okay, all right. Let me let me read this person because obviously I, I didn't read, read their message earlier. Um, you're misconstruing my point. I never said that you said something inaccurate. You contradicted what you said yesterday to defend Sink's nephew. Ironically, past he made in the past, not just on game devs or artists with AI either. Yes, people don't care about how you feel. That is definitely true. It is a sad reality. It sucks. But also... You have to keep in mind that whenever I was talking about game developers also, I was talking about it in the, in, in the primary context of what happens whenever a game is bad. So whenever a person expresses themselves... So like here, here's a good example. Uh, I, I didn't really think about it like this, but this is actually a good way to explain it. So basically, whenever a game developer says that their job is really hard... I am very sympathetic, and I think that's horrible. But whenever a game developer says their job is really hard and the game is bad, then I'm not sympathetic. I think that's a better consolidation of the way that, that like the way these two points come together. D does that make better sense? Because like I, I definitely understand the way that like a game developer would feel in this situation, and I can I can totally see like what their perspective is with like thinking that this is contradictory. But I think really the customer really cares about the experience that they're getting. And if they're getting a bad experience, then they don't really care about the work conditions of the person. 
it's like, for example, if uh, the iPhones suddenly got more expensive because we started using ethically, so ethically sourced cobalt, well, people would be furious about that because now they're way more expensive. Well, we don't want to have to do that. Let's go back. Can we just have the kids do it again? Like, this was great. Like, we, were, we had $1,000 phones. This was amazing. And so it's not that people don't care about it. It's more that people don't care about it whenever it comes at the expense. Or sorry, I don't care about it. It's, more, it's not that I don't care about it. It's that I don't care about it whenever it comes at the expense of of what I am paying for. Does that does that make sense? I, I, I think this is a much better way for me to explain it. Like talking through it, I think this is a much better way to explain it. Yeah, everyone knows that you're wrong. That's why you're getting pushback. No. Uh, there's actually a lot of people are, that are agreeing with me. I think that tons of people do. Phone analogy is a huge I'll take. There's not a single solution for that for a problem. Yeah, but nobody cares what the solution is. They just want a cheap phone. That's that's the difference. So so do you see kind of what the uh, make a poll? What what do you want me to do a poll of? Uh, what's this here? I'm um, not referring to the people who don't know how game devs are. Uh, for the record, I agree with you on those takes. I'm more referring to the fact that you can't have it both ways. For example, in the past, you've insinuated fast food workers are not a real job. No, I didn't say it's not a real job. I said it's a job that a robot can do, and I hope it does because the jobs are terrible. When did I ever say it's not a real job? I never said that. Now, reality is jobs socially draining. I've touched, zero, uh, touched on that somewhat today. The irony is you defended Hassan yesterday because he made a similar comment. Now you're walking back because of the backlash. What, if, what do you think that I'm walking back? Yeah, what, what, what do you think that I'm walking back? Because I've spent two hours on this now, right? I mean, if I was walking back, I feel like it would have taken a lot less time. Uh, I mean, I think he did, but you probably don't. No, no, yeah, of course. That's what I was saying. Okay, so this guy, yeah, we can move past this. You're not connecting the dots and missing the entire point? Okay, uh, connect them for me. Okay. <clears throat> I already have a clip insinuating it. I can link it if you want. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, that That's great. Um, yeah. Can you put a couple of spaces in it so it doesn't get deleted? Because it'll it'll just get deleted. Uh, you are walking back saying that if Hassan is saying streaming is harder than a real 9 to 5 job, he's wrong. You were adamant or wrong. Everyone was yesterday. He found, okay, you found a clip. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just open it up right here. It really is. Okay. And uh, some of these people getting a reality check is great. The sad thing is some of the uh, restaurants, they automatically charge the server 10% of the bill uh, mm -hmm. to tip out to the hostess and busboys. Well, I, I think that, like, really, what I've always found to be ironic about this is that what do I usually tip for? I tip for good food. And the waiter doesn't even make the food. Do you think I'm going to tip them for bringing a plate to me? Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Like, if I had a menu and I could just put the thing in myself, I'd do that. So, what is the argument with this? He's insinuating that I... Uh, he's saying that you're insinuating waiters and waitresses aren't real jobs? Well, it's not that they aren't real jobs. It's that I'm not going to take it as seriously, and I don't want to tip the person who's a waiter. I want to tip the person to make my food. Which is true. I think being a waiter is a vastly, like, a vastly less skilled and less important job than being a cook. Absolutely. And I want to also make very clear that I did not say restaurant workers. I said people that work in a kitchen. Waiters don't work in a kitchen. That's why they're waiters and not cooks. So can you, so is that, does, does that make sense? The argument is that it's a bit jarring to downplay one job for its perceived lack of difficulty while enjoying the social drainage while defending your friends. Okay, so yeah, I can see what you're saying. Uh, so it's a bit jarring to downplay one job for its perceived lack of difficulty. Um, I, I don't necessarily downplay the job, but I don't necessarily think that as a tip. So I think that if you want to make a one-to-one -one comparison, would I? what would I say if somebody as a streamer was expecting to be tipped? I would say, get the fuck out of here. Too bad. I have no problem with somebody being a waiter. I would say the same thing. I was saying this in the context of expecting getting a tip.
Now, I appreciate you actually having a link here and, and having a conversation about this. But do you understand the difference? Like the difference between me taking a job seriously and then me thinking that a person is entitled to getting extra money for it, entitled to a tip. Like these are two very different things. Are, are they are they to you guys? Because to me, I think that they are. For the record, again, I agree with the fact that tipping culture is bullshit. This is working in the fast food industry whenever I was an undergrad. I don't think it's fair to say what you said because it insinuates all or most waiters are entitled to tips when a streamer your size makes a comment of the clip. Okay, but like, I just want to make sure that like, I, I'm very clear about this. Anytime that a streamer acts like they are entitled to being paid for streaming, I will shit on them. And if, clip it, clip it. You can save that for five months from now whenever Hassan says this and then I defend him, okay? How about that? So clip it right there. So anytime that anybody thinks that they are deserved uh, to be paid for something like this, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and remind me. And I will shit on them too. But waiters don't act like it, though. Waiters absolutely think that they're entitled to tips. That's absolutely 100% true. Oh, in, in, in A. Like, if you're in Europe, yeah, yeah, it's it's probably different. With fake sob stories, too? Yeah, 100%. Like, all this, like, emotional appeal, like, oh, well, if you don't, uh, you know, like, all these other, like, arguments, shit like that. Guys, yeah, 100%. So do you, do you see kind of like where where I'm uh, like where I'm coming from with this? Because I think that it's like obviously a very different argument. Like I there are a lot of jobs that I really don't take very seriously and I don't think that they're very hard jobs to do. However, um all of those people are entitled to be paid the wage that they said, but I don't think that all of them are necessarily entitled to like my money directly through tips. And so I was more or less referring to the expectation or the entitlement of tips and I, I think this is consistent between uh, a restaurant versus a stream or anything like that oh sorry you get time you, sometimes if people type really long messages they get timed out uh it makes all the impressional teams watching your stream literally avoid tipping I think that they should. I think that the only time that tipping is going to go away is whenever people stop subsidizing it and then the companies have to actually change. I, I, I hate to say it, but I actually think this is true. And I, I completely support not tipping. I tip all the time because it's like, especially if people recognize me, they're like, oh, it's the streamer guy. Okay, well, I mean, he's got it. I mean, oh, he didn't tip. I fucking, I, I knew he wouldn't. What a bald piece of shit. And so it's like, it's like they know me and so they know that I have a lot of money. And so like, okay, I've, I've got to give this guy like the 20% or the, the, the 30%, right? But like, otherwise, no, I, I used to never tip myself. And I actually don't think the tipping will go away until people actually stop doing it. When it's over a decade, I don't think this is truly an NA. It's something off a tangent now. Back to my original argument. You were definitely more rooted in your defense of Hassan than today. I just wish you were less on the fence and didn't walk back on things similar to how you handled Andrew Tate. Sometimes it's better to die on a hill. Um, well, I don't think that I'm necessarily walking back anything. And again, like, what do you think that I am walking back? Tipping is important. It's because it's the only waiter, the only the way the waiters support themselves. Fuck them. Fuck them. It's the same way I think about streamers. You think uh, streaming, like, I, like if, if you're watching a stream, you don't feel like, t if you don't feel like subbing or, or anything like that, then don't, don't do it. Uh, it, you, you have no responsibility to do that kind of stuff. You shouldn't give a fuck about it. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want to do. Spend your money however you want to spend it. Don't ever make somebody, don't let any, anybody else ever try to like, uh, you know, emotionally blackmail you into thinking that you have to give your money away because somebody else went into a legal contract that they, as an adult, decided to sign and then now they're unhappy with the outcome of it. Uh, no, you never have to do that. It's a bad idea. The whole concept that basically the upper class has pitted the working class against the middle class for waiters and people that are trying to socially, uh, what's the word? Uh, socially like, uh, like condemn or uh, demonize or, you know, make somebody feel bad for not tipping. Uh, no, no, no. If you don't want to tip, don't fucking tip. And if enough people do that, it'll go away.
As a waiter and server, I think what you're saying is unfair. I never expect a tip. I work fine dining, and I work really hard to create an experience for my guests. You also seem to have a complete understanding where the tips go and how they're divided. It's not how fair how you downplay the physicality of my job. I don't care. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I want to pay for. The, I want to. I want to pay the price on the menu. That's just the way it is. I get that it sucks. I totally understand it. Reason. And also, by the way, I want to make sure that I'm being consistent with this. I feel very bad for you, and that really sucks. But I don't care whenever it comes to my money. Like, my sympathy for your problem ends whenever my wallet opens. I care. I sympathize with you. It sucks. I definitely get it. But I don't care enough to give them money. Guys, you get paid millions of dollars. Half of the time, you guys sit there on the screen shutting the fuck up while something else plays, okay? You're oh, just- I think, oh, pff, people wish I did that. Reacting, or sometimes you play the fucking video and you leave your screen for 30 minutes. You eat on the job. Like, don't pretend like this shit is crazy. You guys can't eat, I remember I used to be able to eat at, at the IRS. Can you eat at your desk where you work? I think it, it, that's probably like a 50-50, right? Yeah, it seems like about 50-50. Is it socially draining? Sure, I could see that. Don't act like your job is special in comparison to others. It's not. It's not. Being in the military, socially draining. Working oh, yeah. sales, socially draining. Very. Even when I didn't even have to work, when I was doing remote work and it was just be myself with my coworkers, it was socially draining to have to fucking sit in Zoom calls and listen to people babble about some dumb shit. It could be. Yeah. Or sitting there and looking at fucking spreadsheet and then having to type shit out and my brain just wants to melt. You think after that I want to go talk to a bunch of people? Is, is the YouTube game hard? I don't know. What you do for your living? I'm a pastry chef. What time do you get up in the morning? Every morning I wake up at five chef. in the morning. Fuck I gotta that. be the I gotta be the pastry, but that's worse than my boss. My boss has to be three at, but be there at three yep. to get the orders in and this and that and that and that and everything and stuff and how much is that oh that's 12 hours my job is good <laughs> my job is good the fuck with me ah, i get to talk to people and i make so much money more money than i haven't done in my life but it's so hard because of the comments and everything and stuff and i get to take breaks whenever the fuck you see all the sound all the people that are like yeah son you're dumb you're talking to people that cannot come that they're not even understanding and I never had to understand what you're doing and what you're living. Yeah. And I, as a matter of fact, I am That's also a really good point too uh, that he's making is that he's basically saying like, you're not going to get sympathy from people that don't understand your experience. Because streaming is like such a unique experience. And this is why I was saying like, remember what I've told people like many times, like, I think streamers make a big mistake treating their chat like a diary. That's exactly what I mean. I'm glad that I, all this happened, yeah. all this in my life happened, the YouTube game and the comedy and this, mm -hmm. this and that and whatever happened yep. now. So even though I am here where I'm at right now doing what I do, I can still connect with you because I got the experience of having to do that and having the bullshit jobs. And I've been doing jobs sometimes that they come to me, some coworkers come to me and be like, yo, you need to slack because you're making us look bad. Listen, listen, listen. Nobody wants to hear about problems. No. Just Nobody gives a fuck. Okay? Nobody gives a fuck. Your True. problems are of your own choice. And literally, it's because you're greedy. Because you're greedy. That's it. Just turn it off. This is so stressful, <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, oh, no. Can I try? I'm, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at how hard this is. Is it, is it the button on top? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turn, turn it off. Turn it off. On off. We're about to live a good life. The, the, the red one? Yeah, I'm about to go make love to my wives. Oh my God, working out is so hard. I work out seven hours. Stop working out that much. Go home, drink water, sleep, fuck. Anything else. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Okay, all right. All right, that's it for today's video. By the way, we got our second channel, Abba Preaching the Floor, where we like to enjoy ourselves. We do all the funny stuff, Jubilee Cut videos, you can get them there. We got Discord, check that out too. All right. All right. Yeah, I think this was good. I can see their perspective on this for sure, and I think that they're right with a lot of things. I definitely can. Now, I, I, I do think that in general, 
whenever I'm talking about understanding what somebody is talking about, I do think that you should be able to be empathetic about the way that a person feels. Oh, let me link you guys a video. Give it a like and, and everything like that. I, I'm, I'm not subscribed to these guys. I, I thought that I was. Um, where were they wrong? Um, I think that they're wrong that... I think that they're wrong that it's a good thing that people don't care. I think that people should actually have some degree of empathy for the way other people feel. And I think the idea of invalidating other people's problems in life because you view their like their life situation as being advantageous to yours. I think this is a very toxic mindset to have. And I think this mindset leads to a lot of resentment. And I think you can see that all the time. And you see that with like girls, for example, that are like constantly resentful towards like men. I think this happens con all the time. And I think in general, you don't have to necessarily think that somebody is right, but I think that it's reasonable for you to understand why a person feels the way that they do and not to invalidate the way that that person feels. But I think that again, he like I this is this is a true thing, but this is like this like really kind of weird middle ground, right? Because like streaming is a job and whenever Hassan is streaming or anybody is streaming and also like I, I want to make sure one other thing is, is is clear is that like Hassan or me like we are like super 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 one percenters, right? And so obviously like we can just afford to turn off the stream and fuck off like what they said absolutely right but there are a lot of streamers that are making 100k a year and they don't have a backup plan or they're making 30k a year and they do have to stream every single day absolutely so there are going to be a lot of other people that are on that spectrum that feel the stress a lot more most streamers can't do that and i, I would say whenever i say most streamers i'm talking about 99 percent of streamers so yeah, that that's really what it comes down to. And uh, you guys have nothing in common with a lot of us. You can't expect us to care. Um, I, I think that in terms of lifestyle, I don't think that my lifestyle is that much different than most of your lifestyles. To be totally honest with you, uh, like uh, like I play. Well, I mean, in terms of like outside of what my job is, I, I think that it's basically about the same for a lot of people. I, you shower, yeah. I, I, well, I don't. I don't think it's like really that dramatic or that much different. Yeah, if you take out what I do outside of like my streams. Yeah, it used to be until I get a job. Yeah, there you go. You're not talking about the streamers. We're talking about Hassan bitching specifically. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like in general, I do think that it's. I don't think that it's fair to invalidate the way that Hassan as. Uh, like, Hassan's personal problems and the way that he feels are not invalidated by the amount of money that he makes. It doesn't mean that after you make a certain amount of money, you will no longer be socially drained or upset. Does that make sense? That's the problem that I have. I, I, I dislike the mindset that if you make a lot of money, you are not entitled to negative emotions. I find this to be incredibly toxic. But I also think that everybody feels that way whenever the product that they are consuming is affected. And that's what I think is so interesting about this topic, too, is because Hassan is the product, fundamentally, right? So it's like, he is the product, so he's complaining about it, but he's also the product. So, like, is this that case? How can Hassan ex express himself without necessarily breaking this rule? It's very confusing, right? Rich Eagles can't complain, yeah. And so that's why I think it's interesting to talk about it. It is. People are mad because he's downplaying regular jobs. Yeah, I don't think he's necessarily downplaying regular jobs in general. I don't think that's what he meant. But if he was, that then he's wrong. But I don't think that's what he meant. You're entitled to complaining about your job to people who make less than a year than you can in a week? Well, of course that you are. Uh, you're, everybody is entitled to their emotions. Uh, and, and I think the idea that they, that they aren't is incredibly unhealthy. Yeah, I, I think everybody is. Now, now, the other difference is that you are not entitled to have other people care. I'm not saying that other people should not care, but hopefully, can you guys see kind of where I'm coming from with a lot of this? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I've talked about this for like two, 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 three hours, right? But like, I, I think that my perspective on this is, is pretty fair. I, I think I have, I have a very fair perspective on this, and I understand that it's not something that's like uh, condensable. I probably could condense it into a tweet if I thought about it hard enough, but... It, 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 it's very complex and there's a lot of like nuances to it as well. And there's like a lot of a social expectation that goes along with it. I think that the real problem and the real subtext of why people are angry 
is primarily class consciousness. I think people are mad that, like, for example, if a viewer, if like a 200 viewer streamer said what Hassan said, I think that people would be a lot more sympathetic towards it. And I think if it was somebody besides Hassan that said it, I think people would be a lot more sympathetic towards it. I think that in general, a lot of people are very negative about it because not only it's Hassan, but also Hassan is speaking from such a position of privilege that I also share. So I think that's really what the problem is. And I understand where they're coming from, but I, I'm going to say I don't really respect that opinion because it's not arrived at logically. It, it's not about the argument. It's about a person's value judgment of whether another person is allowed to think something, which I think is very stupid. I don't think that's a good way of thinking about things. So yeah, I think that's why a lot of people were mad. I'm, I don't think these guys are, are, are in that category, by the way. Um, I'm just saying in general, uh, I think that's really what it is.